Hello and welcome to Design Basics. In this video, we're going to talk about work planes and how to utilize them in a couple of basic ways. So I'm just going to pull up a model I've already just made beforehand, and we're going to use this as our test piece. So one of the most basic ways to use a work plane, and I'm using the hotkey there as you can see, is you can just choose a surface, and you can leave it as is if you press enter, or I can drag it and choose a dimension. So let's say I decide to go 1.25, negative 1.25 down. Now that I have it there, I can then use this work plane to, let's say, make a project cut geometries, um, let's say a circle, and let's say I want to make a pen as an example. And we're going to dimension this to be one and a half inches in size. So now I can take the parts that I want to extrude cut away. And now I have a pin that's a depth. The nice thing about having a work plane like this, if I don't like the depth that it is, what I can do is right click and go edit dimension. And now I can change this to let's say minus one and a half. And since I use the extrude all feature, it'll still extrude it all the way up. Another nice thing is if you wanted to do a distance that's smaller. So if we change this to distance instead and made this one inch, you now can have a moving piece that's one inch thick. And that's another helpful way of using this. So again, if I went to right click on this edit dimension, I can change this to let's say 1.375 and it's still staying there where I want it. And if I hold control Z, you can see it moves. So I'm just going to leave this as through all. Next, I'm going to show you how to use the work plane in another way, which is choosing two sides that are parallel to each other. And as you can see, it automatically chooses the center distance of the piece. This is very helpful if it's not centered with the model itself. So now if I wanted to do a design that's only going to be look, seen on one side of this model, I can firstly project this face. And let's say I decide to have a hexagon. We're going to make this dimension. And we're going to center it about here, and then we'll just quickly dimension it to be 1.25 off. And let's say I decide to extrude cut all this material away. And now you can see I've made a pen that is centered about that piece. The next way to use this is to use the work plane by using a face and an edge. And what this will allow you to do is choose an angle. So if I wanted to make this 30 degrees, I can now make it 30 degrees and I can make some sort of hole on here. So I'm just going to quickly dimension this to be 1.375. And let's say I decide to extrude this hole both ways, a distance of four and a half, I'm cutting that away. And let's say I don't like that. Again, I can go back into the edit dimension. And let's say I change that to 60 degrees. And now you can see it moves the hole to where you want it. So that's the great thing about choosing an edge. Alternatively speaking, what you can also do if we take this and make a new work plane is if you choose two surfaces that are not of the same angle, it'll actually split the difference. So as you can see here, it's 45, but if I did it here, it's actually going to split the difference this way and it's cutting through here. So this is a couple ways of using the work plane to allow yourself to have some features. The last one I would show you is on a tangent spot. So you would choose a face and the circle that you want. And now you can see I have a tangential work plane. It's getting a little busy here, but essentially I can take it on here and you can see it's tangentially on that spot and I can do some sort of detailing on here. So for instance, I could do a circle and make it, let's say, 
two inches in diameter. And if I want to extrude that down by an inch and a half, I now have a hole that I cut through tangential to the top. I could have also made some other details as well. So hopefully that helped. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, this is Tyler with 3D Printersor, and I hope you have a great day.